What's up everyone? Welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really neat tweet called Harbor. And what Harbor does is it completely changes how your dock looks and it gives it more of a um, Yosemite type feel where basically you now have an even longer dock that allows you to add more applications that you can see all at once. And on top of that, you also have the option for your icons to jump when you get a new notification. And you can also take your finger like so and glide it down the list of your icons down here and stop on the one you want to open up and and then it'll pop into the application. So I can slide my finger down to TweetBot if I want it, open that up or actually try that again. And you'll see the names are being displayed as well. Stop there on TweetBot and it'll open it up. So in essence, that's what Harbor does. However, there are a few more options for it. So jumping into our settings for the tweak, you have the option to turn it on or off, which I believe may require a respring. You also have the option to change the animation duration. In all honesty, I haven't quite figured out what that does. I don't know if it changes the duration of the icons and how long they bounce or just what, but if you figure it out, please drop it down below. Beneath that, you have the option to adjust the dark margin. So if I were to slide this up here and then hop back out to my home screen, you'll see that the margins of the dock are smaller, which would allow me to put more icons down there with a more clean feel. However, if I hop back in here and I slide it back down and I hop back onto my home screen, you'll see that the margins are a little bit wider in reference to what it was before. The next thing that you can adjust is the wave height. So if I were to slide this up here and then pop back to my home screen, I can glide my finger over the icons and you see how high they're bouncing now compared to before. So if I get off of that and then hop back into my settings and turn the wave height down, Oh, and then hop back here and then slide my finger over my icons. Now they barely jump high. So it adjusts how high the wave goes in terms of when you're running your fingers over your icons. So hopping into my settings again, I'm going to put the wave height back up. And then I'm going to now adjust the wave width. So this adjusts the spacing between the icons when you're doing the wave. So as you can see, the spacing is rather wide at this time. However, if I turn it down, you'll see now the spacing between the icons is that much smaller. So it even increases or it even changes how the height looks. So that's what the width will do. Now beneath all of that, you have a few more options. So you now have your bounce options. So the first bounce option you have refers to how how often your icons will bounce. So for those of you that don't care too much for the animation there, you can adjust how frequently the icons bounce. So right now, mine is currently set for every two seconds. So I can change it to never, once, twice, or any of these other options here. So maybe I want to space it out a little bit more and put it on every 30 seconds. So now the icons will jump every 30 seconds in opposed to two seconds when I get a new notification. You also have the option to turn off if the icons will bouncing in a, bounce in a running application. So right now you see I'm in my settings and the icons are bouncing on top of my settings app. So that way I can see these notifications without even having to go to my dock to see them. So I can see them from whatever screen I'm on. So that may be a feature you may like or not like. Um, you also have the option for the icons to bounce on your lock screen. So similar fashion to being within an app, the dock will bounce or the apps in the dock that have a new alert will bounce on your lock screen as well. Beneath that, you have the option to flush it with the bottom edge of your screen. So in essence, right now, my icons are here. However, if they were flush, they will be even lower down to the black edge of my screen there. And your next option is to show the app name indicator. So as you saw, as I was sliding over these, it shows the application name. And that's because that feature is turned on for it to do so. And then the next option you have is to show your app state dot. So in similar fashion to uh, the dock on your computer, you have the little dots under the applications that are running if that option is turned on for it to do so. So if you don't like the little dots, you're going to want to turn it off. And then the last option you have is to use your normal dock background. So if you want to turn that on, then it'll change the dock background that comes with Harbor to be the one that's normally on your device. But however, if you notice something like turning this option off does not allow the changes to take effect. Just do a respring and then it should work. But for the most part, that sums everything up for Harbor. Put down in the comments what you think of this tweak, along with any other additional questions or comments you may have for me. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.